Blessings and peace, and welcome to Trinity Episcopal Church's In Order of Compline. Today is Tuesday, July 21st. Um, I'd like to welcome you on this, um, what's soon to be apparently a stormy evening because it's getting pretty um, nasty out there here in a few minutes. Anyway, um, either myself or um, Brother Les Roberts or Chris Paul will be um, leading in Order of Compline each night, Monday through Friday. And Mother Ann or Deacon Frank will be holding a morning prayer service at 8.30 a.m. Um, off the Trinity um, Facebook page. Um, we'll get started in just a few minutes in the Book of Common Prayer. Um, you can, we'll start on page 127. And if you don't have a Book of Common Prayer, you can go to bcponline.org, go to the Table of Contents, select Daily Offices, and it's the fourth Daily Office, which is called an Order of Compline. We'll just take a minute to um, collect ourselves, and then we'll get started. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Most merciful God, our he Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, in word, in deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 91. It can be found on the bottom of page 129. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the dead, deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night nor the arrow that flies by day of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor the sickness that lies waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold and to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation, there shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to love to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our book this evening, whoops, 
May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Continuing on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now recite the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your, your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Continuing on page 134. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous and all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, I ask for your prayers, either silently or loud, or you may type them in the chat on the, the comment boxes on Facebook. This evening, I'd like to say a prayer for our enemies. O oh God, the Father of all, whose Son commanded us to love our enemies, lead them and us from prejudice to truth. Deliver them and us from hatred, cruelty, and revenge. And in your good time, enable us all to stand reconciled before you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to say a prayer for for those who suffer for the sake of conscience. O oh God, our Father, whose Son forgave his enemies while he was suffering shame and death, strengthen those who suffer for the sake of conscience. When they are accused, save them from speaking in hate. When they are rejected, save them from bitterness. When they are imprisoned, save them from despair. And to us, your servants, give grace to respect their witness and discern the truth that our society may be cleansed and strengthened. This we ask for the sake of Jesus Christ, our merciful and righteous judge. Amen. Like to say a prayer for that's attributed to Saint Francis. Lord, make us an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand. 
to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, and it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. I'd like to say a prayer for all those who are affected by the coronavirus. O oh God of compassion, giver of life and health, we pray your healing mercies upon all who may in any way be affected by the outbreak of COVID-19. Comfort and sustain those who have been stricken. Relieve their pain. Restore them to their gifts of gladness and strength. Grant to all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for a common good and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Watch over all first responders and to those in the medical professions whose duty it is to care for the sick. Guard them from all danger and keep them safe in the knowledge that is through their sacrifice and service that the health of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept these prayers, O God of all comfort and our only help in time of need. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Returning back to page 134 at the bottom. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, with whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me this evening for this Order of Compline. Like I said, either myself or um, Chris Paul will hold this Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. And either Mother Ann or Deacon Frank will hold it a morning prayer service at 8.30 a.m. on Facebook. I ask that God keep you and bless you. Amen.